Welcome to Houston, Texas and Minute Maid Park. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Houston Astros. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton and Singy there's been a lot to talk about already in this series as we head into game four. Well the number one thing to discuss is just how lopsided this series has been. You know you get to this point of the season Boog and you expect both teams to be on pretty even ground but it's not played out that way at all and when a team takes care of business with such dominance and gets out to a 3-0 lead I just can't see this series lasting much longer. Yeah that's usually the way it goes but hey coming back to win the series has been done before first pitch coming at you right after the break just about to get started and today's starting pitcher Luis Garcia a really good outing for him last time scattered two runs was attacking hitters getting ahead in the count great performance we'll see if he can do it again in this one ready to go now in for the Braves Michael Harris Next pitch is outside. On the ground, right side. Altuve slings to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's... Uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams especially in a big game big series here's Tim Anderson next pitch off the play yeah, that's ball two good eye right there The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. One down, base is empty. And that's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that wall. Man at first with one gone. Here's Austin Riley. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Strike in there. Throw to second. Great jump. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get into scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. You can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Swing and a miss struck him out. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Anderson at second with two down. Swings through it for the K. Had him out front for strike three. One left for Atlanta. Now here come the Astros. No score. This is the World Series on the show. Back here at the ballpark. And going for Atlanta, Mike Soroka. What do you look for here? Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. Bottom of the first. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can... Okay, let's check out the lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. 
Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevate it because guys... Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. That missed inside. The count now two and two. Well, coming off of a blowout loss in the previous game, this lineup can't try to do too much. They've just got to stay within themselves, take each pitch, each at bat, one by one, and try to push runs across as often as possible. Left-hand batter waits. The punch out there. Now two out. Batting four. Here's Kyle Tucker. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Man on second, two down. Way inside, gets out of the way. Man at second. There, that misses off the outside edge. C.J. Crone. Up next for the Astros. Runner at second, two down. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Right-hander kicks, deals. And he walked him. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. The first baseman, CJ. And here is CJ Crone. One zip. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. So two outs with runners on the corners. Now it's going to be Alex Bregman. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Kicks and fires. On the ground. They get the force. An acrobatic play to end the inning. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. You're watching the World Series on the show. here in Houston and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit gonna count one and two and there's a rocket into the outfield so a man on base to start the inning. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Here's Marcelo Zuna. They say it went. One ball. Two Olsen on at first. Nobody out. Two, 
in the dirt. Well done behind the dish. Next pitch is outside. Sean Murphy waiting for a turn at the plate. Belt and fires. And ball four to a board. Not the start to this inning he was hoping for on the mound. Now he's going to have to really dial it up against the bottom part of this lineup to get out of this jam. First and second. No outs. Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. And a pitch. And it's filled up. to the plate and a swing and a miss one out in the second good horizontal movement on that curveball right there and just enough to get him to chase it he placed it just off the corner and that's one of those where a pitcher says if he's gonna miss he's gonna miss off the plate so really good job great pitch for the punch out Ozzie Albies up to the plate the one one and that's in for a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Bird. The pitch. And a ball evens the count. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed? Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A three-run rocket. And they tack on three. It's 3-1. Three pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off the batter will be Michael Conforto here's a 2-2 fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again Here's a 2-2. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And stepping in is the speedy Michael Harris. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. There's a strike. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll do it. Atlanta gets three on the homer. And this is now a three-one ball game. of the second. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena. 
Right side. Albies. To first. That's one out in the bottom of the second. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every championship team needs to have. Here's the center fielder, Chaz McCormick. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. Bunt attempt, but that goes foul. Next offering in the dirt. Three and two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the struggles continue in the postseason. And here's the rookie catcher, Yaner Diaz. And that one is lifted in the air. Harris after it. Nice grab on the run. And that ends the inning. Astros are down quietly. Score holds. It's 3-1. Here at Minute Maid Park, now the number two hitter, Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. The 2 1. Charlie's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper is looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Got him swinging. Austin Riley, next up for the Braves. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on-base and slugging, too. So now one and two. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. The 1-1. One, one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Next oh. offering is downstairs. ball pretty well struck out towards right center Tucker going back on this one and it's caught just in front of the wall Braves go down quickly here as the lead remains 3-1 welcome back here's the second baseman Jose Altuve the second baseman Okay. Singy, you think about all the success oh, Altuve's okay. had in the postseason, including the walk-off homer off of the Yankees and Aroldis Chapman in 2019. Oh, Only oh, Manny oh, Ramirez has more postseason home runs in Major League history. The wind of the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Yeah, Jose Altuve really tells you a lot about how he's able to play the game and feel no pressure, just performing at a high level in the postseason, and no doubt he's been a big part of a couple of the Houston Astros World Series championships. The pitch. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Now Michael Brantley steps in. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. The pitch. 
swing and a miss, and he got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Tasked with one, now two, and three to start this him. inning, but no trouble so no far. Way. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the oh, side yeah. here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Anderson gets it to first. Oh. That ends the inning. Astros go down one, two, three, and they still trail it here, three to one. Back here in Houston, out of the fourth, stepping in the long ball threat, Matt Olson. Next offering way off the plate. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. And now it's the Braves DH, Marcelo Zuna. A walk and a run scored his first time. Crushed in the air. Left center field. Way back there. No doubt about it. A two-run shot, and they add to their lead. It's 5-1. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there. No doubt about it. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's Sean Murphy. His first at bat was a strikeout. Next pitch misses way outside. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. 2-2. Two -two. The other way. That's a base hit. And the postseason success continues for him. The batter number one, second baseman, Ozzy. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. He had a big three run homer at his first trip. 1 1 now. And that skips in the dirt. outside three balls and a strike Murphy aboard here at first with nobody out out to center McCormick has it sized up puts the squeeze on that one and there's one down the left fielder, number eight, Michael Conforto. Man at first. Here's the left fielder, Michael Conforto. Here we go. Here Still go. only one out here in the inning. Oh. The next offering misses. And that's ball two. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes. Double play ball to second. Altuve to second. That's one. Throw to first. Safe. 
Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Back to the top of the lineup, and here is Michael Harris. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Hater deals that misses two balls two strikes and downstairs three two two out runner on first a lot of movement in the infield hitters got to stay focused on the pitch him off. Braves pick up two on the long ball. It's now a 5-1 ball game. And welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Kyle Tucker. Ripped in the left center base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Everything came together for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And stepping in for the Astros, C.J. Crone. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. The one two knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Next pitch misses and the counts even at two. Runner at first with no outs here. Swings and misses and now one away. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information. But the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Righty delivers. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and deals. On the ground is short, could be two. To second, there's one. On the first, double play, and that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We played four. It's the Braves five, and the Astros one. Astros go to the pen, and here comes Hunter Brown. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Tim Anderson. Swings and misses. That's strike two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. 
Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. The 1-1 is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Here's a 1-1. Acuna checks his swing. Now an appeal to first, and he went around. Ruled a swing. And the one two misses to even the count. Hard ground ball base knock. All over that one right there. It sounded different than most hits coming off the bat. You don't need numbers to tell you the ball was hit extremely hard, but at 115 miles per hour, that's not an exit velocity you see very often. Very impressive. Here's Matt Olson. Ground ball right side. Fires over to Chrome. And Olson is set down. And that will end the inning. Braves strand one. They're up 5 1. of the inning and stepping in for the Astros Jeremy Pena pretty amazing athlete this guy is power and speed quite a threat I mean you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep Bo Jackson anyone the 3-2 is off the outside edge and that is ball four well he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot hitter didn't offer at it now he has somebody to worry about over at first Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros struck out swinging his first time yeah, he's like Mike Trout you figure whatever you put in his hand whether it's a bat whether it's a golf club whether it's a basketball he can do it and get it done and a rare talent so much fun to watch and the next pitch is way outside spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another fly ball to right center Harris has a beat on it and he makes the catch and there's one down they've got a potent lineup and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit they're right at the top of the list Man at first so next up for Houston Gainer Diaz over one so far Ball to strike. The pinch. Ground ball left side. Could be two. Over to Albies. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Five innings complete. It's the Braves five and the Astros one. Set for the start of the inning. Now it's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. And a pitch. And that's two in the ball. dirt. One now three. two balls and a strike. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Austin Davis, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And it hits the top of the wall. So here's Murphy now. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Ozuna gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Next pitch is in the dirt. And the count is even 2-2. Two and two.
Down the line, it's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Pena with a relay throw. Not in time. He's got a double. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there. So once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. So up next, Ozzy Albies. And he had a big swing of the bat early on in the ballgame. Yep, a three-run rocket back in the second. Even though it was early, a big homer like that can be tough to come back from when you're on the other end of that thing. I mean, it's tough. Sets up an uphill battle the rest of the way. High in the air, out to right. Tucker should have it. Hauls it in for the out. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really Let's drive it. Number eight, Michael Conforto. Michael Conforto will climb in. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. The pitch. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. That's a base hit as a run scores. Comes through with the RBI. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So the batting order turns over. Next to hit, Michael Harris. Here's a 1-1. He swings and fouls one off. And now the count is even. Two balls, two strikes. Gets a piece and stays alive. First and third, one down. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. Left-hand hitter waits. Good eye right there. Can't connect on the curveball. Struck him out. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. And now two and two. Next offering way off the plate. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. The hat trick. Anderson down on strikes. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Top of the order due up in the home half of the six. Braves six, and the Astros one. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. The wide to kick the pitch. And that clips the inside corner. Well, these Astros just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them. So they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And here it comes. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Mike Soroka done for the night. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back.
So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Dylan Lee. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. So a man aboard, and Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. Snap throw to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. The pitch. Outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. And now the lefty. That's in there. And the count is two and two. Altuve on at first. Nobody out. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. That left-handed batter facing a left-handed pitcher that's got some sink like that at the end. It's just the bottom falls out of it. When it looks like it's going to be a pretty good pitch in that location that everyone says lefties love. at first here's Jordan Alvarez the 1-1 one -one. hit on the ground to the right side and it goes just foul Chris it's pretty amazing to think that Jordan Alvarez could actually be a Dodger the Dodgers originally signed him in 2016 and a little over a year later the Astros acquired him for Josh Fields pretty good deal for Houston Two. And delivers Ball, outside. Out. Great deal. And you see Jordan Alvarez really emerging as that David Ortiz type of designated hitter. Even though he likes playing left field, uh, this is a guy. Oh, great stop. The throw. Olsen. Over to second. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play. Nicely done, and that'll do it. Offense held in check there. Game four heads to the seventh inning now. Braves six, and the Astros one. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Seth Martinez. Number 61. Seth Martinez. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Right-handed reliever. Center field. McCormick on the run. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And there's one down. Here's Acuna now. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Hit hard, base hit. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second, but he's in there easily. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. One down. And now the first baseman, Matt Olson. And he deals. There's a strike. And the pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away.
Right-hander kicks deals. He's trying for third and safe. It's a stolen base. So now here's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Kicks and fires. And he pumps it a strike. at center field the run scores from third it's 7-1 and his hot hitting continues they kept him in the yard that time but all he's doing now is passing the baton and everything seems to get started around this guy ready reliever out of the pen Rafael Montero number 47 Rafael Sean Murphy now at the plate. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. Lined, and that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now Having himself a really second nice game at the plate. Okay. Showed a willingness to drive okay. that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Next to hit, Ozzie Albies. First and second, two down. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. McCormick fires it to the plate. It's offline. The run comes in. It's 8-1. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And here is Michael Conforto. 2-2 two -two now. In the air, left field. Alvarez brings it in for the third out. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Braves eight and the Astros one. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Joe Jimenez. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low Yo, leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. And here now is the Astros Wait cleanup up, hitter, Astros. Kyle Tucker. The Showed a really field. nice opposite field approach oh. in his last at bat. Ball to strike. And that one wrapped foul. A one two and this is inside here's the two two dives and he can't hang on not in time he's safe up next to the after the first baseman CJ Crow. Here's the first baseman, C.J. Crone. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. That one not two close. One. Two balls and a strike. He deals. 
That one fouled off, two and two. Tucker gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and baseman, still late three. on it. You rarely now see that. Out. It almost makes you think Greg that man. he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And another ball. The 2 1. Out there to center. Harris has a beat on it. Out number two. Jeremy Pena getting number ready three. to hit. Shortstop. This kid is so Jeremy. special. He's a shortstop by Pena. trade and big time power. The next pitch misses. Ball two. Seems like from day one, his strike zone and plate discipline looked like he'd been in the league for six years already. And that one ripped into right. Full extension makes the catch. One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the boys fired up in the dugout. The Astros turn to a new arm of the mound, Austin Davis. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Michael Harris digs in now. The center fielder, Michael Harris. Next offering misses. Full count now. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And down on strikes he goes. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And next for Atlanta, Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. And a swing and a miss. It's been a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. The pitch. Two balls, two strikes. Rip to short. Fires over to Chrome. Yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out. Third base, Austin Riley. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Austin Riley. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Brings it in, and that's the third out. And the Braves go down quietly, and it remains. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Tyler Matzik. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. At the belt and fires. In the air, center field. Harris has a beat on it, and puts the squeeze on that. One up, one down. Now battle. The catcher. Yainer. Yainer Diaz, Diaz will hit next. Chris, how about the career arc for Tyler Matzik? A guy who was a first round pick of the Rockies in 2009, battled through the yips, and eventually was a huge part of that Braves bullpen. That 
Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A solo shot. And they're chipping away. It's 8-2. Well, this thing was looking down the line the entire way. We knew it was going to be close, and bang, right off the left field pole. That was a pretty swing, and he found a way to keep his hands inside just enough to keep it fair. Three ball, one strike. The 3-1. And yeah, there's ball, ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Up next for the Astros. Michael Brantley the stands in. Michael Brantley. Yeah, and a big moment for Matt Six, striking out Albert Pujols and Mookie Betts after inheriting two runners in scoring position in game six of the 2021 NLCS. Altuve stands at first with one out. Next offering is down low, and the count is filled up. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Colin McHugh gets the call from the pen. They know that he can get a right hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Now batting, right fielder, Kyle Tucker. So now it's the four hole hitter, Kyle Tucker. Next pitch is outside. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Rysel Iglesias getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snitker. That's in there. Three and two now. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. And next to hit for Houston, C.J. Crone. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The 1-1. Misses outside. Smoked on the ground a second. Ouch. Over to Anderson. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But a solo home run will at least get this closer to respectability. It's now 8-2. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Ryan Stanek. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. that one deep left field and forget it he flexes his power with that swing and they tack on to their lead it's 9-2 this one absolutely screamed out of here singing a laser Statcast tells us it was 112 miles an hour off the bat yeah it left in a real hurry and didn't go that far because of the launch angle being a little flatter, but clearly it had all the velocity it needed to leave the yard.
and a pitch. Off the plate inside. Two balls, two strikes. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Ryan Abreu, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Left-hand batter waits. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Righty delivers. That one missed. Next offering misses all three. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side, and it stays fair. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's got a double, fourth hit of the night for him. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. One out, runner at second. Here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. the corner one out and a runner at second next one misses counts full three and two and that's awfully close I don't know how you take that he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now and a swing and a miss and there's two down Ryan Abreu into the game. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Astros, number 52, Ryan Abreu. Ozzy Albies next up for the Braves. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. up first base side crone has it sized up and makes the grab and that's the inning acuna goes yard for the braves and it's now an now we see rysel iglesias out of the bullpen for atlanta number 26 rysel iglesias here's alex bregman leading up for the astros the third baseman alex bregman one and two now. In the dirt. And they get Bregman for the out. Now back. The shortstop. Jeremy. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Safe at first as they can't make the play. He's two outs away. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. Next offering is in for a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Nick Anderson getting ready to go. Pena, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And they're down to their last out. Now Look at Astros down to their last out. Yainer Diaz up next for the Astros. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. 
gets the call and it's one and two. Is just one strike away. Foul ball still a one and two count. Series champions. Congratulations to the World Series champions. Incredibly special team. So proud of these guys. I know the fans back in their hometown. Everybody going nuts right now. It's going to be such an amazing reception when these guys return home. Welcome back on the show as we see some of the final moments and reactions in this World Series clinching game. And now let's go down on the field where they're set to present the Commissioner's Trophy to the World Series champs. For Chris Singleton and our outstanding crew, I'm John Shambi. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the big three. Let the mic smoke. Now I slam it when I'm